How's it going everybody? Yes, you're on the right channel, no worries. Today we want to showcase some tips to help you transition easier to the core combat update patch. A disclaimer, of course, as this is footage from the early access, some damage numbers or specific interactions might change in the live version. First we will look at Lawbringer. Lawbringer can get a higher damage punish off a light parry by delaying his input ever so slightly into a neutral top heavy for 32 damage. A blind justice into light repost deals a total of 27 damage. Both punishes stun the opponent. Still highest possible punish from any parry, heavy or light, is impale into top heavy for an impale damage of 8 plus 32 from the top heavy which gives us a total of 40. Lawbringer's shove lost his hyper armor so he can no longer option select into a shove on red indicator as that can be interrupted by teammates or light attacks. Then we will look at Block Prior. BP can get a higher damage punish of a light parry by going immediately into Bulwark Stance and doing a Bulwark Slash. The move, if timed correctly, is unparryable for your opponent. This deals a total of 35 damage. A heavy after parry would deal only 29. Moving on to Shugoki, Goki always has frame advantage when landing a light attack, so be extremely careful trying to interrupt or trade with him, cause he will always win. Another change to Shugoki is if you do a demon ball near a wall and your stance is on the left side, and your opponent's stance is not on the same side, you get the demon ball and the side heavy for 29 plus 29 for a total of 58 damage. This punch is applicable for even max distance demon ball near a wall as well as close to corners. More options from a demon ball near a wall, if your guard is not on your left, chain into a zone for 29 plus 14 damage which is a total of 43 which is unsafe though or a light which is then 29 plus 12 damage for a total of 41 but this one is safe then moving on to Aramusha his open heavies have all been slowed down to 900 milliseconds for the sides and 800 milliseconds for top. You no longer get a top heavy off a heavy parry and you can only get a light attack from the respective side. His out of stamina punish has also changed, for guard break it is a forward throw into your current guard light into same side combo finisher. Swapping your guard after the throw will cause an early wake up of the opponent. Parry punish is also light into same side heavy finisher. You can swap guard after light without causing an early wake up. You can still get a side heavy off the late rocket kick near the wall. Moving on to Jung Jun, he has received some animation changes on his chain left side light attack. If chained from a left attack, he does a swirl around himself, but also his animation from other sides to left has changed. 
out of lock attacks now look the same as his in chain ones. Next up is Orochi. His mid chain lights are now all 500 milliseconds, so they should be easier to deal with in regards to blocking, hurrying, deflecting, and so on. For some extra style points, if you perform a deflect into wind gust from a top or right attack and delay your top finisher follow up ever so slightly, Orochi will do a unique animation starting with one hand and then bring both hands together to perform the heavy finisher. The top heavy finisher has decent tracking and will track most early back dodges, but unfortunately, an early back dodge will always beat Orochi's feint into GB, as his GB distance is very limited. You cannot light him out of it if you are in hit or block stuff. Peacekeeper has received a nerf to her zone, uh, which is now 500 milliseconds, as is Lawbringer and Shaolin's top light, just like the other neutral 400 MS attacks which have been nerfed. Peacekeeper now has a consistent single parry timing for both the zone and light attacks on the zone side, and both parries count as a light parry, giving you a heavy depending on the character you play. Her top light is now also 500 milliseconds. Peacekeeper is the only character whose light chain you can't dodge out of, because the chain link between her lights has not been increased. <sighs> Tianli's superior block dodge lights now cause a light hit reaction and do no longer guarantee a palm strike. You can dodge out of both a chain light and a palm strike, depending on how Tianli follows it up. Hallander's defensive lights are now 500 milliseconds, both opener and in chain, allowing the hero to maintain better offense even in his defensive stance without needing to rely completely on his offensive form. His preferred out of stamina punish is now light into a blockable heavy, which lands him 12 damage for the light plus 37 damage for the unblockable for a total of 49 damage. You should now be able to dodge efficiently mid-chain light attacks from all characters beside the Peacekeeper as mentioned before, which means you can deflect or parry 400 ms chain lights and 500 ms chain lights on a correct read. You can only deflect Peacekeeper's chain attacks but you cannot dodge out of them. The Ormunganda has received a clearer visual animation on his dodges and instead of gliding on the ground, you can actually see his feet moving when he dodges. Then some feet changes, although not all will be covered here. Traps no longer stun or drain the stamina of your opponent, so depending on the trap type, you want to be more efficient in how you use them. Bear Trap still deals a total of 25 damage and binds the opponent for 2 seconds. Storm in Trap deals 20 damage. Nail Bomb deals a total of 40 damage plus 75 bleed. If you want to overkill someone, you can stack all three traps on the same spot. And for some small UI changes that you will notice, which are following. Dodges now leave a small ghost smoke at the start of each dodge, which will make it easier to identify when opponents try to dodge. 
Darker maps make the ghost smoke a little more visible. You now have the full circle highlighted under the opponent you are locked onto, instead of just the outline. When you capture the zone in Dominion, the borders will alternate between white and your team's color, blue or orange. You capture zone A. You lost zone A. When contested, the edge of the zone alternates between white and the color of the team who owns the contested point. Once again, blue or orange. Moving on to understanding a bit of frame advantage, light attacks are frame disadvantaged on hit, meaning that if your opponent ends his chain and you both hit light attack at the same time, after his chain ends with a light, your light will come out first and hit them. Heavy attacks are frame advantage if the attack lands, meaning any attack they input after the finisher will come out first and interrupt you. Finally, some warmonger tips. We won't go into too much details about the moveset as that will be covered by other content creators. And you can check freezes with my frame check video. A link will be in the video description. The dodge heavy attack has some extra dodge frames that you can use to dodge, faint to light attacks or faint to bash. Timing is very strict and you need some practice to get it down. The wall travel of the impale is nothing compared to Lawbringer, so be cautious when you use it, as without landing on the wall, Warmonger won't do the claw follow up and just delay damage. If you are low on stamina and you manage to bait your opponent into an out of stamina parry, you can use an impale which will refill her stamina to full. A wall impale won't refill her stamina. A forward dodge heavy can be used to counter top heavy feint into GB as it only has 100 ms of GB ability. You can initiate a light attack 300 milliseconds into your forward dodge which makes up your game later. On a correct read, any 500 ms attack will interrupt a charged bash attempt of warm up. This can be done after any block or hit stun. Since parries are harder to get on the reaction now, when it comes to fainting back into neutral, it's good to mix up your interrupts with fast zones or light attacks to prevent yourself from being parried so easily. And that's it! Thank you very much for having me again, and I hope all your viewers learned something today and the transition into the new patch goes a little smoother now. I hope everyone enjoyed this video, thanks for watching, later everybody.